in the static warp bubble, she created her own reality. Her thoughts, at the precise moment she was trapped, determined its shape and form. Can you go in and get her back? No. It is her reality. I cannot enter it any more than I can enter her thoughts. But you said there's still a way. I can help. Dreams of being human never gets the punchline of a joke. Doctor. That you've accidentally recreated something that he did. Something that could alter reality. What's going on, Doc? Just breathe deeply. We'll be fine. I was just at a barbecue. In through the nose, out through the mouth. I've never seen so many ribs. Follow me, Commander. We have a lot of doors to unlock. You're a little reality show. Oh, I see. You know, General, I think you're probably well aware that there were film cameras on the beaches of Normandy decades before Survivor debuted on CBS. Personally, I think it's an outrageous oversight that the Stargate program hasn't been chronicled up to this point. That's because it's top secret. Only a handful of people will see anything you shoot. So far, General, so far, eventually, inevitably, 
This program is going to be disclosed to the American people and to the whole world. And I like to think that this little film that we're doing here might in some small way provide insight into what's really been going on here for the last six years. What's really been going on? <laughs> you know what, General? Nothing to publish. You still don't know how it works. We can find out how it works. Prove that life exists outside our world. And the righteous in the second half flew ever onward, knowing they were indeed righteous. This is terrible. Holy wars, killing. They're just using religion as an excuse to be extremely crappy to each other. So what else is now? <laughs> I'm not interested. And they killed each other over which coloured cardboard hat to wear. I'm not interested. Don't you think it's amazing? No. You know what happened to people who didn't eat hot dogs on Fuchsia Day? They were stoned to death by stale donuts. Listen, what do you want me to say? Congratulations, you're gone. I'm talking about the suffering. People died. I mean, cats that cat people died. You just come here to rub my nose in it. I could have been God, you know, given a different start in life, given the lucky showbiz break. I don't want to be a God, that's the point. Now, vomitization, I don't believe it. I'm God, but it's a bit of a drag, actually. Come on. I'm not a god. I've just been misquoted. Just uh, for my money, anyone who goes around reading meaning into any old gobbledygook deserves everything they get. I mean, if I, had, if I had eight socks on my laundry list instead of seven, or if I owned more than one pair of underpants, they might have been safe. I just wish I could meet them and explain and apologize. Well, that would look spectacular, wouldn't it, Lister? God returns in all his splendor and says, sorry, it's all been a total cock-up. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to become their god. I didn't ask to be killed, Lister. Life's a bitch. Now smeg off my busy. I mean, they just made the fuck you know. I'm supposed to have given them five sacred laws. Five sacred laws. I've broken four of them myself. But I've broken the fifth, but there's no sheep on board. <laughs> Bye-bye. I mean, River, what sort of holy writ is this, River? It is a sin to be cool. Look, I'm sick of hearing about these stupid cats! My concern is a slightly more meaningful than what colored stupid smegging cardboard hat I'm wearing. I'm trying to decipher this. This is science, laddie. You can smirk, Lister, but I believe the Quagars. Quagars? Quagars. It's a name I made up. Double A, actually. I believe the Quagars have the technology to give me a new body. Never mind, Miss Tot. Where's the cat? Tot. 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 We'll soon see how totty it is, laddie. The quarantine period's nearly up. Bastard.